Chris Oliver joins me now high above Blue Raider Stadium field as Lindsey Wilson pulls away. And uh, I guess the first question, I know what you're going to say because I've asked you this before, but I still got to ask it. Uh, what was the halftime speech like? Because it was uh, it was a like, tale of two halves almost. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it, 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 people probably think, oh my gosh, you tear the paint off the walls and, and do all that. But it wasn't like that. You know, I went in and before, you know, normally defensive coaches talk, then they go in and see their players. Offensive coaches talk, go in and see their players. You're doing that simultaneously and the players have a few minutes before you really speak with them. I, I just went in before we had coaches talks and I said, listen, all of us got to calm down, myself included. You know, I've got training camp voice uh, right now after one game because of how much I was yelling. I said, all of us got to calm down, myself included. I said, everything that probably could have gone wrong in the first half sort of did. And here we are, we're tied. Uh, so we're not in a bad spot. We feel like the world's going against us, but let's just, you know, handle the adversity together and, and let's just buck up and, and let's go. And, you know, there we went. Before we talk about that uh, impressive third quarter, I, I got to give, and I know you're the same way, got to give kudos to Thomas Moore. Absolutely. They did a great, they had a good game plan and they executed perfectly in that first half. Yeah, and, you know, we talked about it, the Jekyll and Hyde comment, you know, in our pregame talk. This offense uh, for them really makes you work. They do some really good things formation-wise, personnel-wise, and, and I, I think they do some stuff that, that just challenges you. It, it's a it's a well-coached team there on offense. You flip over to defense, and yet, yet again, it kind of sounds like a broken record. They're doing some things that we hadn't really seen on video. Made a couple adjustments for us. Um, you know, we knew that they didn't want to have their corners play one-on-one -on -one with us. Then we knew they were going to get a lot of safety help. The way that they did that was was a little bit different. Um, you know, so they they had a good game plan. They executed. They came out. Um, you know, and really really happy with how our guys continue to to weather the storm. Once again, special teams comes through in a huge way. Um, that was you know one of the big differences in the games is, is that you know we we come back and make a big kickoff return, you know, just a game-changing type of play. Our kickoff coverage was outstanding That's all correct. night. I mean, when you look at the field position start off of kickoffs, it's going to be a huge discrepancy in the game. So, once again, our guys are buying into the special teams plan and executing out there, so I'm rambling. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, third uh, game this season where your defense scored a touchdown. That, uh, and, again, it could not have come at a bigger time because I, I was talking to Willis Fuller, uh, our athletic director at halftime, I said, this this, this the next drive to start this yeah. uh, third quarter is going to be critical. And one play, yeah. and it's a fumble scoop and score for Cam Thurman. And, boy, that really just kind of jump-started uh, everything. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it, you know, it, it snowballed very quickly there at the start of the third quarter with the defensive score. We come back out. We get, you know, another stop, good field position. I think, you know, I think Jalen Boyd had the next touchdown. We had great field position on that drive. Then we come back on a one-play series to Terrell Cole, but it all starts with that turnover, you know, going back, and that was such a such a huge momentum play. You talk about you're in the opponent locker room, you're tied with the number four team in the country for whatever that's worth. Uh, you're pretty fired up, you're ready to go, and you come out and, and we get a turnover scoop and score on play one. I mean, that that's a deflating type of situation, uh, but I thought our guys handled it well as far as moving on and, and really you know stepping on them and, and trying to put them away. There was uh, more defensive plays. Like, uh, they, they got into the red zone a couple of times. They came away with a field goal once, so you kept them out of the end zone. Then you stopped them on fourth and goal from mm -hmm. the four, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, again, uh, the defense, while they – it wasn't the greatest game that they had, there mm -hmm. were moments when they just continued to supply big plays after big plays. Yeah, and, and you know we came up in those big stops, and again we we clear up a couple of those penalties and those things. Mm -hmm. I mean, stat sheet says six for seventy nine. It felt like about fifteen penalties. Uh, yeah. You know, just because they were critical moments and in, in situations when they happened, and like you said, they extended the drives. If we don't do those things, we play a really clean night, I think, on defense. Uh, but we did come up with those big stops still at the critical times and. You know, we play good team football. You know, it's not pretty at all times, but when you can have defense coming up in big big spots, when you can make plays on special teams, and you know, you can get some things rolling here and there on offense. When you can do all three of those things in the same game, and 
you know, that's great team football, and, and that's what we did tonight. And you look at the stats, and, and uh, Cameron Dukes finishes. He ha has his fourth career third, uh, three hundred yard mm -hmm. passing game. Has three touchdowns. Uh, you just look up and down the line. Again, I, I go back to it, and you just mentioned the team aspect, but you really do. This offense feeds off this defense, and this defense feeds off this offense, and, boy, that's yeah. just a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, no doubt. And, um, you know, like you said earlier, anytime you can get points on the board from your defense or special teams, that's just such a bonus. But, you know, when you can, when you can punt – and have your defense come back and, and not get dejected and come back and keep playing and, and vice versa. When you can give up a score on defense and you can go out and make a play on special teams, then your offense can get going. I mean, that's part of the game is that you're playing against good football teams. You're playing against 11 mm -hmm. other guys and, and good coaching staffs that, you know, they're trying to stop us from doing what we want to do too. Um, you know, sometimes it feels easy. It wasn't easy tonight, but I'm proud of the way our guys responded and came together and finished. And a bye week coming up. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, you know, we've only played five games, but this has just been a different type of grind for everybody. And, um, you know, we're like everybody. You know, you got those midseason dings, and, and, you know, our guys deserve a little bit of time off. We got to try and heal up on some things. And, you know, we got to try and work on some things on our end aside from working on our opponent. Uh, so we'll, we'll enjoy this week and uh, put it to good use and, and be ready to go for, for the Battle of Highway 55. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you.